She's gonna storm tonight. The sirens are going off outside and she's got a tornado warning. Which means that it's gonna be wet tomorrow and that means it's gonna be the perfect day to test a very big mower in very bad conditions. Cause that swamp is gonna fill up and that means we get to really give her some heck. I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, you guys, we're gonna be cracking open this new Ego lawnmower, but I wanna show you something here. Yeah, we've got standing water. She's been sitting out in these elements for quite a while. So hopefully it's got a good plastic wrap on her because uh, she's not gonna be given any more love than what you see she's already been given. In fact, life for this mower is gonna get uh, a little bit more hectic. Starting right about now. I don't think this one's gonna have that new mower smell. Oh, that is putrid water. The charger. This is uh, kind of like the Tesla of lawnmowers because you plug this in right here, boom, and she'll charge everything up. Contents required for assembly. All right, so next up, we're gonna put the seat in its home. It looks like it's got four bolts. Looks like they gave us some extra. Hopefully these are the right ones. They seem to fit. Looks like two go on the back, two go on the front. Looks like they got Loctite already on them. And then you gotta put the seat clip in. So let's get that done right now. So I said this was the bolt that's gonna hold the seat together. It's not. It's these little suckers with the Allen wrench heads on them. Oh, hey, when you put this seat on, do not forget to clamp the electrical connection, the seat sensor. There's a sensor in the seat, which I'm gonna guess dictates whether your mower will work properly or not. Let's put those on. Now I'm gonna guess these come in handy. Now well, they fit, they fit. We just gotta find the handlebars. Now looky here. Looky here. There we go. Well, it looks like we got its buddy right here. Oh, 
raggy. Looks like I got my wheel caught. I'm supposed to get that wheel caught like that. Stay. Don't move. Don't wiggle. Let's take a look at the battery compartment. All right, well, let's see what makes this thing tick. It says open me, so we open it up. Combines the power of up to six batteries. Includes four 56 volt lithium ion batteries. So let's take a look at what one of these batteries looks like. This is the 56 volt. This is a 12 amp hour battery. And they just slide in. And click down and if you're thinking man that's a lot of batteries well you don't need all six batteries to run the mower and on top of it you can take these batteries out of the mower and you can power your chainsaw your hedge trimmer your leaf your weed whip your leaf blower you can power them all do we got any juice we got looks like we got two two bars on these so before we do anything else Let's charge it up all the way. So the charger is a pretty compact unit. There you go. This one's wet. Hopefully it still works. She's been sitting out in the elements all season long. And she just plugs right into a standard 110 outlet. And she'll power up and charge up all six batteries for you. This is a 1600 watt charger. Let's sneaky snake this mower in place. See what these batteries do when we plug this in. All of them are going at the same time. So this is charging everything up right now. Hmm. You can hear her running and you can see her telling me she's going to town. All right, well, let's wait for this to do what it's got to do. And then let's go do what we got to do next, which is beat the hell out of this thing in the swamp. All right, I just plugged it in and let's set the stopwatch and see how long it takes to charge these all the way up. Now we're charging six. 56 volt batteries simultaneously in their 12 and a half amp hours each. How long do you think it's gonna take before this goes from two bars each battery, which is what it was shipped to me as, to fully plumb ready to go? Take your guess in the comments down below. I'm gonna take my guess. I don't know what it's, what the actual time is gonna be yet, but I'm gonna say an hour and 45 minutes and I'll have this thing ready to go, fully charged. That's my guess. What's yours? All right, I think we're here. Two hours, 29 minutes, and we're at 99%.
So, two hours and 30 minutes. Did anybody guess that? Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I think she's ready to go. So let's start mowing and let's, uh, let's get progressively harder on this thing as we go along. This is no mow may. And so I think I did my fair share of letting the grass grow to create a bio uh, gnome so that the bees and the birds and the critters can have a safe place to live. But now it's time for this to get cleaned up. Let's do this hill first. So you can't tell it, but the mower is technically running right now. Um, let's just take a quick peek at what our control panel looks like. So we have three control modes. We have control, standard, and sport. And by hitting the mode button, we can opt to go between them. But in each mode, we also have four speeds. So as you hit the rabbit gear up, you're gonna notice that that's gonna go up and the turtle's gonna make it go down. So three modes, four speeds in each mode. And over here you have your blade speed so you can control how fast your blade turns. Now the faster you have the blade turning, the shorter your battery's gonna last. So we're just gonna go, we're gonna go three here because this is some pretty thick, this is thick stuff. This mower is going to have some thick stuff. So we'll actually crank her all the way up. Why not? Let's see what she can do. And let's go into standard mode. Um, we got your start stop button. Got here. I'm not going to engage this. I'm not sitting on it. Over here, we've got a USB charging and storage compartment. I actually have my phone already in here. I could be technically charging my phone as it's sitting in here. If I wanted it to, uh, looks like we've got a 52 inch triple blade deck. Each one of these, each one of the mowers actually has its own motor. So one, two, three. So this must have five total. I'm guessing, I don't know. Uh, but I am going to find out for you guys 100% for sure. But now it's just time to go to town. Okay, so right up in the front, we've got a parking brake. When that's activated, the mower's not gonna do nothing to deactivate it, just push on it again. Nice, easy uh, blade height change system. I'm going down to three inches. So we're gonna mow at three. I've got my handlebars adjusted the way I like them. Now we're cutting grass. Yeah, she handles nice. Sorry bees, you had your chance, skadoodle. No more May is over for me. Good comfortable seat for sure. Got a, I'm noticing a few grass skips right there. Now we're cutting this grass down from around 11 or 12 inches in total height to about three. And these are dandelions. So a lot of things, what, a lot of times what happens is those dandelions will just lay right straight over and then not get hit at all and pop right back up. And this is pretty wet stuff. We had a severe thunderstorm roll through the night before. 
and this is the next morning so we're still getting a lot of that excess moisture from the previous night's rain. Now if you look real close, you can see that the grass I'm cutting is actually matting together and creating these wads of just dead grass laying on top. Now if I don't do anything with those, it'll kill the lawn underneath. So in my book that will automatically trigger a double cut, which I'll do later on. Right now I just want to see exactly how well this machine handles. Take a closer gander at how she performed, huh? Even a commercial grade mower would probably have to cut a lot of this area twice to do a good job. Not really, I don't really care what mower you're talking about, because this is thick. This is thick stuff. All right, let's go on to the next section. Let's keep going, let's see how she does. did something automatically. It kicked down as soon as it got into the really thick, heavy, wet grass. So let's get back to that area where it kicked down and hear if it does it again. I can hear it kick down. I'm not doing that. This is thick wet right here.
you guys. Let's get into some heavier, denser stuff. Let's see how she does in the really thick, in the really thick of it. But before we do that, let's just see how what it takes to raise this deck. Well, you can do that pretty fast and easy. Oof. Standing water right behind me. We'll work our way into that. water right there. I'm starting to sink. Take a peek at how bad and wet this actually is. Remember them rains that came through? They dropped a lot of water on us last night. This is what we're dealing with. I can't even stop, look. No, oh, geez. Okay, hello. That's got my foot. Like it legitimately has my foot. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we can't get too close in there because as we get a little farther in, boy, that, see, look at, we, like I said, we got standing water here, right? Um, that mower is doing a good job then of, uh, floating of suspending its weight over you know less than po optimum conditions so that so that's just one thing to kind of keep in mind but let's uh let's cut some more ground here The camera shut off on the thickest, gnarliest stuff right when I was getting to it too. 
And I mean, it handled it like a freaking champ. I can't believe that. All right, well, let's see if it'll, the camera, the GoPro will stay on long enough to capture this one. Hopefully it does. Right, guys i think this is about as worse as conditions as i have right here and of course the first day i wear shorts in eight months and i'll be walking through itchweed but hey it's just all part of the fun right we're going to be going taking this battery powered lawnmower through this oh geez what is Guys, listen carefully. You might hear it downshifting as she hits some of the thicker stuff or speeding up. that tree we'll go right up tight to that tree actually hitting it with the mower deck right now That's gonna conclude our mower test. <laughs> Let's just turn you off. Oh, she's still crying. There we go. Well, there she is, guys, buried up to the hilt in the swamp, because you guys know you want that, and I wanted to give it to you, and we tested this thing out. It had no problem cutting it, it's just it can't float in mud. And when we look at what we got here, this is pure, that's pure water. And that's about all gonna, that's gonna be about all we can test this one out. So uh, that's not gonna end this video, but uh, it wouldn't be the first time I've had to get my Jeep out to get freaking ticks everywhere. That's the second one of those sons of a duck that I've pulled off in just a few minutes. All right, we gotta get that unstuck somehow. One quick thing while we go get the unsticker. You see my trees here? Dead. Emerald ash borer. Dead, dead, dead. Dead. Not dead. Dead. Dead, dead. You see all those? Dead. Whew. Has the emerald ash borer been getting you guys? Whew. It's been nailing us hardcore. Favorite part about that Jeep?
right there. Oof. Brakes feel a little bit. I think they need some loving. You know, it's just not that unusual for me to pull the Jeep out when I'm making a mowing video for some reason. It's just not a big shocker. That's pretty common, isn't it? Doesn't everybody pull their Jeep and winch out when they're making a mowing video? Hmm. All right. Come to daddy. Come on, you can do it. Suppose I could go help her. Yeah, you think she's a little wet? Yeehaw! Right now I'm in standard mode, slow speed. So I'm not even using control mode yet. She just got good control, just, she feels good. Sport mode is pretty crazy. Oh, what, what? You want to see sport mode? 10-4 back door. Huh? What do you mean you've seen it mow enough grass and you want to see what else it can do? Okay. All right, well, let's see what else this mower can do. We've been in standard mode all day long. We're gonna go into sport mode. We're gonna crank her all the way up to high speed. And let's just see how fast she can go. So I still have the deck on this 52 inch mower, but I have the 42 inch mower and I learned pretty quick that it takes about three minutes to pull that deck off. It's just two simple pins and a hanger on the front and then you just unmake, unplug the motors, which is one plug and you can pop the deck yeah. off. And that makes yeah. it really yeah, excellent for my weak. grandkids to use the mower and me feel a little bit safe. And I also found out there's something else you can do once what? the deck is off. All 
All right, you guys, here's a little sneak peek. This is the Ego string trimmer. It's got line IQ. So you basically just stick your string in, get the two ends even, and then hit this button right here. Oh, I went too far. So you just stick the string in until she comes through, just like that. Get them so both sides are even. And then you hit that button right on the tip top. And boom. And this trimmer's got power. And it also has a no bump feed head, meaning I don't have to tap that head on the ground to keep feeding it string. It automatically senses when it needs more and adjusts it without me touching a thing. I don't normally like to give my opinion on something. You guys may notice that when I do these reviews, I just shut up and show the equipment work into its utmost capability and let you guys decide what you like or don't like but sometimes when i really really like something or i really really hate something i can't help but say something and i really really like this string trimmer in fact i think that is my favorite string trimmer of all time right there it's just got the power it's got line iq you it has a no bump feed head not a zip zero zilch. This thing is made for just to go, just to work. That's all it is. And then I want to hear from you guys. What did you think of that Ego mower? How well it did. If I take a look at this, I mean, this is it mowed all this and it still had plenty of juice left. We went in the swamp, the best part of the video, unfortunately. It didn't pick up all of the video. The GoPro fried out on me when we were getting into some of that really thick, tall cattails. So then we went over there and we mowed until we got stuck, but boy, she never bogged down. She never hesitated, had zero problems, just went, 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 went. So that's the things that I noticed about it. Um, you tell me what you guys noticed and then uh, we'll just go from there. And that's all we got for you today. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We will catch you guys on another one. God bless you guys. Take it easy, man, and go get them. See you later.